just to clarify, this is my new art style, this is my old art style, you'll be seeing my old art style from the speed peak because I drew this before I changed art styles. Thank you for your understanding. Ayo, hey, it's your girl Leoneo. If you don't follow me on my Insta, which you should totally do, by the way, you may not know that I'm starting to go back to the dying fandom called Vocaloid. Now, for the uncultured swines who don't know what Vocaloid is, quote from Wikipedia, Vocaloid is a singing voice synchronizer software. It's a single processing part which developed through a joint research led by the Commander Hadaki at the Palmer Foria University in Barcelona, Spain in 2000. It was not originally intended to be a full commercial project. Backed by Yamaha Corporation, it is developed by the software into the commercial product Vocaloid, which was released in 2004. End quote. And Vocaloid has many, many Vocaloids. Like, it's too many to count. Each Vocaloid holds a unique voice bank. Mainly it's Japanese, however, many hold English and even Chinese voice banks. Vocaloid Gumi is the one with the most voice banks, having 17. Dang! Behind her is Miku, and let me just say that Miku is bilingual as fuck. She speaks so many languages, it's amazing. And I want to say this now, but Vocaloid isn't an anime, sadly. Those videos are either to promote the game or they're fan-made. Sorry to say that, my dudes, but it is possible to marry a hologram of Miku. Back to me, I found Vocaloid in late 2016 when my 27-year uncle at the time was watching the classic Levin Polka, sung by none other than Hasune Miku herself. I soon felt interest in this Torka Pink Tail leak holder, but since I had a memory of a flea, I didn't catch her name, and back then I get anxious really easily, so I was desperate to find this leak lady, and eventually I did in the 5th grade when my wee face was starting to tingle, and boy, these songs were my sh**, like 2017 me was dancing to these songs very hard. Now back then I made a now deleted YouTube channel called Vivalon5664, you know, Vivalon the Pokemon, I'm very creative. I made that like a few days before 4th grade. Then in the 5th grade, I changed it to Cutie Hasune with a self-insert OC called Miki Aino. Miki Aino is a self-insert I made when I was 10 or 11. Miki had friends who were based off my friends in real life at the time. I'm still in touch with two of them. You should go and follow them, they're very underrated. But for the third one, I... I don't want to talk about him. I wrote stories about them going to an idol academy and all that stuff, but they were forgotten because my weakness annoyed like half of my classmates. I threw my anime face down the toilet, and Miki and her friends were forgotten. Until now, boys, we were rejoining her, boys. <gasps> Woo! Miki had many designs, and half of them weren't even colored, except for this one, but that was it. In her old design, she was supposed to be bully because she had her hair long and pink tails like Miku, which doesn't make sense. Like, I grow my hair out and dye my hair green, and I'm Bailey Eilish. And, like, I get bullied for that and it's pretty stupid to bully someone because of their hair love yourself self love hug yourself no hair and the tip of her hair is dyed pink she had two pairs of cherry headbands now for her outfit i can't say for sure which one is official so i guess i can say she had her short hair handcuffs or something and stripes lots of stripes all mickey design was ugly i decided for her new design that she's gonna have frizzy hair and put up in ponytails her ponytail is going to be split, so it's going to look like pink tails. I kept one pair of cherry headbands, and I want to keep the pink hair dye, but changed the natural hair color to this brown looking thing. And she has some hair in the back. I also want to give her headphones, so I put it around her neck. Also, by the way, I referenced the headphones with my in real life headphones that are very much broken. I gave her this sailor like collar and a red tie. The top was supposed to look like a crop top because that's what she's mainly wearing in all her designs, and they were very high and close to the chest. What the f? Anyway, she had a pink bottom up and gold overall straps. Those straps were originally her lanyards, like how some vocalists have. I gave her a pink and black shorts. For her arms, I gave her long striped fingerless gloves to reference the lots of stripes she had and kept the handcuff thingies. And if you don't know, some Vocaloids have these tattoos on their right shoulder to know what number Vocaloid they are. The tattoos can literally be anything, and so her tattoo is cherries, cause obviously. She also has striped stockings and these loose stockings, I didn't, I, I, I think that's what it's called. I changed her first name because if you don't know, during my weed phase, I was also into this magical girl series called Pretty Care. Quote from Wikipedia, the Pretty Care season, also known as Pretty Care and PC, is a Japanese magical girl anime franchise created by Izumi Toto and produced by Ashida Broadcasting Corporation, Asatuto DK, and Toei Animation. Each series revolves around a group of magical girls known as Pretty Cares who battle against evil forces. End quote. There's like a total of 16 of these and a total of 61 characters in total? Huh? I feel so old. They also have a Netflix adaption which 
destroyed my girlfriend's favorite season. Anyways, I found a video where they were putting the pretty care's name in meaning, and I thought, wow, this is so cool. I'm gonna just copy all this down. And that's how Miki Aino's name came to life. Her first name coming from Ono Miki from Fresh Pretty Care, and her last name coming from Aino Megumi from my favorite Pretty Care season, Happiness Charge Pretty Care. And I used that list for the rest of my Japanese OCs until I threw that list away and gave them proper names. So I changed Miki Aino to Miyu Aino. Now I gave her a story that her producer made her when she was very young and she felt connected to Miyu. But eventually the producer grew up and left Miyu in this void, I guess, until she come back. Sounds familiar? Yeah, that's me, boy. So much for joining me to my god awful rambles if you like what you see please support me on my instagram and twitter this is my first time doing these things so i'm sorry if they don't sound great i might post bloopers after this i'm Nao, and i'll be tuning in next time bye seven year uncle at the time was watching the class in lemon polka some way other than uh, blah, 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 blah. really easily so i was desperate to find this leak lately lately whoa since <laughs> i have a memory of a flea i didn't catch this ca blah. <laughs> Now, back then, uh, what? The cutie has to name with a self insert OC king. Whoa, what? I don't even know my OC's name, bro. Because <laughs> my weebness ignored like half of my classmates, and I throw my weeb face off the window, threw it out the window, beat the shit out of it, and then. <laughs> back then, Miki. Uh, you should follow them. They're very <laughs> wrong line. Ugh had many design oh whoa i dropped my mic and pink tails and for a ponytail it's wait i said pink tails instead of ponytails